Everything that look good, it's going to taste good. <laughs> this is a job training program that teaches people how to cook. And within eight weeks, gives them the skills they need to work in a commercial kitchen. The organization okay. is called Cultivate Culinary School and Catering. So they are committed to ending the cycle of joblessness, poverty, and hunger in Northern Indiana. I worked for Taco Bell for 11 years. Um, I also worked for Noodles and Company. Been there for two years, so I've been working two jobs for two years. Food preparation has, has always been a part of my life. I just never took it upon myself to do so until uh, one day I got, a, got this urge of cooking, actually cooking. Dealing with fast food, it's okay. Like, you know what? People like that food a certain way. So how can I make that food a certain way? And there's only one way, culinary arts. I went through some bad time. My brother had passed away, so I, um, Went through a little depression, basically. Lost my job and I shut down for about a year and a half. My sister got me into an adult ed program to get my GED. And then it started from there. And then I heard about Cultivate from my GED teachers. And I decided to start the program and I'm here. We're doing the adult program. And so, you know, they have children, they have other obligations that they have to take care of, rent, mortgage, things like that, and they're, they're just hanging on. And, this, and they're sacrificing eight weeks without pay to do that. And so they are committed, that's for sure. I've seen uh, another student uh, who I hired, uh, he, he cooked for years and then um, uh, fell on a little hard time, had to help take care of his parents and he got out of the business. So he just needed to get back on the horse. And within a week, I saw his esteem rise by 90% and having a good time and enjoying it. And, and now he's doing things he's wanted to do for a long time and uh, as a support of us and then his self. He believes in himself now. In addition to providing job training in the culinary arts, the organization has a food rescue service. So what exactly is food rescue? Cultivate said it's untouched and not served food that would have been thrown away. But instead, the organizers pick up the food and repurpose the food into frozen meals. Our counties, we're doing uh, St. Joe, uh, Kosciuszko, and we're over in Elkhart a little bit, and Laporte a little bit, and we just started doing some in Marshall County, which is going very well. And so we do the same thing here. We make sure we get that protein, that starch, and that vegetable in there no rule of thumb of how that happens. It's as long as we can get it in the container. And then the second thing the volunteers always ask is how much do I put in it? And I always say, fill it up. It might be the only meal I have today. So that container needs to be totally full of everything. The idea is really to take food that's prepared by large food service institutions, um, never served to the public, historically have been thrown away, and to take that food and to feed those who are food insecure in our community. So in Indiana, that's about 16% of the population. One of every seven adults, one of every five kids are food insecure. We're taking food that they can no longer sell and we're giving it to somebody that needs it. We match scarcity with surplus or surplus with scarcity. In the job training program, students get to explore their love of food. This student recently graduated and in his place are four new students who are ready to learn all about cooking food waste, and the joy of the culinary arts. And when, when you make this and you're done and you've graduated and you're employed and you see somebody else in your same position you were, they would go to them and say, I've been there, I know what you're going through, let us help you. And that's part of the growth and the learning in our kitchen. Because if you would go to a family reunion or a holiday, where do you congregate? You're always in the kitchen. You always end up in the kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is where things happen. The kitchen is where lives are changed, tears are shed, ideas are made, dreams are made, everything right there in the kitchen. So we still do that in the art kitchen as we train. Founders hope they cultivate a new cycle where food 
and more importantly, people are rescued.